Okay, so here we are post-workout, and uh, we're going to discuss traditional kung fu, boxing, sanda, kickboxing, mixed martial arts. Um, a lot of people don't understand where things went wrong or um, how feasible it is to use traditional martial arts today. Uh, unfortunately, for a lot of people, they've lost sight of the fact that they need to keep relevant. Traditional is a good base. Uh, it has to fit in a modern framework. Modern framework being a combat sport, some form of competition, or if you're not in law enforcement, that's really the only other opportunity you're going to get to have people in front of you who are doing things that you're not expecting uh, that you're going to have to deal with. And that's not always the easiest thing. Uh, a lot of people are great until something changes and they don't know how to adapt. Uh, people teach techniques in a very structured way and unfortunately the world doesn't work like that. You have to explain the technique, give an idea, a lead-in, a follow-up, have them play around with it, give them some pointers, work with them on it. Um, I think that once people are in an environment where they have to deal with someone's aggression, it has to be uh, freeform and it has to be where uh, they're in peril. They have to feel like they're going to get hurt. Uh, point fighting doesn't do that. Most of the drilling styles, uh, different exercises that we do, chi sao, even some of the swai jiao, depending on how they play it, uh, we want a free form practice where people can use techniques. And instead of doubting the techniques, they should doubt their execution of the techniques and their setup and their timing. A lot of techniques are around because they were used before and they were effective. Uh, there's no reason to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of some things that don't work for us. There's some things that don't work for me. I'm shorter. Uh, there's a lot of ranging that I don't get to do. Unless I'm working with a kid, uh, I need to work in close. I need to use quick footwork. I need to move in, move my head, throw kicks to break up the balance, use my hands, uh, try to wrestle a guy to the ground. That's, if that's my cause. If I'm working in the street, I really have to worry about what's around me. Uh, but I do have to get used to and always have in mind getting hit. Uh, the reality of combat, not the, the idea of the Shaw Brothers movie. I love the movies too, but it's not what we're looking for. And it's not realistic. And I think once we get that mindset where we change and we start looking for real techniques that work, um, and we learn how to apply them under stress, uh, against someone who's not going to go with what you want. I think that's where we're going to find uh, the true martial art techniques. And we're going to find that a lot of Chinese martial arts techniques work. As we're seeing in UFC now, a lot of the kicking, a lot of Taekwondo, Karate, a lot of these styles are coming out now because uh, people are tired of the same old techniques and these guys have the training they're used to it and now they're able to apply effectively all the techniques they've been learning since they were a kid in a martial arts school. So. Happy training.